Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit colorful, but kind of toned down and softer, but still play with color and see what I can create that's a soft, colorful look. So this is what I came up with. I feel like it's very like summery sunset vibes paired with the orange lip. It makes it a little bit brighter and more fun and colorful. And I was so in love with this palette that I had to use this palette for this look. And this is the BH Cosmetics Summer in Sancho Pay Palette. It is so pretty. I mean, look at the packaging. I just feel like I'm already on the beach just from looking at the packaging of this. But the shadows in here are stunning and you're probably gonna be like, are you crazy? Why didn't you use all those colorful shadows? But when I saw this yellow, I was like, you know what? I need to do something with it. I feel like it's so perfect and soft and pale and still colorful and fun. So that's why I really wanted to use these two shadows right here because they were, they kind of spoke softness to me. So that's what I wanted to use. I'm definitely going to keep playing with this because I really, really, really want to create a colorful look using one of these or a combination of these shadows in here because they're so pretty. So if you see a shadow that you want me to use or a combination of these shadows, please let me know down in the comments because I definitely will. The palette is so pretty and so fun and summery, so I definitely want to dip back into this palette. So if you guys want to stick around to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Summer in Saint Tropez eyeshadow palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Crepe. With my E25 blending brush by Sigma, I'm first tapping the shadow on this outer half of my lid, stopping it right in the middle, and then I'm gonna start doing little circular motions to start bringing that up through the crease. And I'm gonna go all the way into the inner corner with the shadow, just going back and forth. And then I'm picking up a little bit more of that shadow and first tapping it to kind of apply that shadow into that crease area, make it nice and opaque. And then go back and forth and start doing little circular motions to blend it and windshield wiper motions. I'm now going into intoxicating. Now I'm picking up this shadow on my Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush and applying this on this empty area on my lid, again stopping it halfway and slightly blending that up into the crease just a little bit. And then I'm packing on a little bit more. And then when there's barely anything left in the brush, just go back and forth and just tap right here to diffuse that shadow into each other and make it nice and seamless. And then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna do the same thing I did through my crease. So first, not crease, my lid. So first going in with Crepe and my E54 medium sweeper brush, just applying this on this outer half of my lower lash line. And then going in with the yellow and just tapping that. I find that when you tap it, it becomes a little bit more opaque. You really get that intense pale yellow shadow. And then again, going back and forth in the center to help blend it and make sure that it's very diffused into each other. I'm going into this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Cocoa Bear. I want to just darken up my outer corner of my lash line and I'm applying this with this E20 short shader brush. I'm kind of just stamping that on. And then you can go back and forth to help blend that shadow out. I'm not going to do it too intensely, just a little bit of definition. And then I'm picking up the tiniest, tiniest amount on this E25. And just from this lash line, kind of blend that a little bit on this outer corner. Again, just to add a little bit more definition. Nothing too crazy. And then you can apply a little bit more of crepe over top. And it's okay if it even gets over this brown shadow. It's just going to kind of diffuse it a little bit more. Just want to bring back that shadow if it kind of got lost a little bit. For my inner corner, I'm picking up Exotic. So I'm going to apply this on my inner corner with my Sigma F70 concealer brush. So if you apply it with your finger, you actually get it way more intense than the brush. So definitely use your finger to apply that. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm going to the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Whiskey. I'm first going to line my upper waterline. And then to make my eyes look a little bit more sultry, I'm going to apply this on my waterline. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and today I'm going into these Ardell Lashes and Double Wispies. And that's the eye look done. I was going to go for a nude lip, but then I'm like, you know what? My eyes are on the light side, they're more toned down and really 
soft <laughs> so I figured why not spice things up with a bright lip and I really want to do an orange lip kind of like a muted orange but still a little brighter than a nude <laughs> so I'm gonna go into this L'Oreal lip stain I'm I get so confused what they're called either lip stain like lipstick they feel amazing they feel like water going on your lips I'm obsessed with them but this is in the shade I achieve so it's kind of like a muted orange so I think it's gonna look really pretty kind of bring out the orange in the eyes and tie into the look And that's it. This is the completed look of my soft orange and yellow smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm in love with the look. I love how soft it is and still colorful and fun and kind of bright but kind of muted. And I'm so glad that I chose the orange lip rather than a nude. Obviously, you could have done a nude, but I feel like the orange just made it so much more summery and I love it. <laughs> so if you want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as that description box and also a list of all the products that I use today along with my brush set with Sigma that I use today in this tutorial will be linked down below for you guys to find everything easier and I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!